righty. I see some people are already here. Welcome, welcome. You know what tonight is. Tell me what tonight is. <laughs> it's Friday night scrapbooking. And I see, oh, so many people already in the chat. And guess what, you guys? Woo! We've got Diane. You're on, Diane. Wave to everybody. Welcome. Welcome. I am so excited. Okay, let's see who's here. Mary's here. Bunny's here. Marion, Beth, Deborah. I missed a whole bunch of people. You guys got on early. <laughs> I love it. Colleen, Laura, Cherie, Mary's here. Carolyn, Deb's here. Christine. Woo, 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 woo. Fenda, Cheryl. Oh, there's a lot of people already joining us, Diane. So I think I think they're excited to see what you have. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm excited to share. Yeah. You guys, were you blown away? I hope you were blown away by the brand new collection because, boy, my mouth dropped on the floor when I saw it today. <laughs> my advisor email and diane is so lucky because she gets her hands on it <laughs> so she's gonna show us up close and personal um all this gorgeous new product which i'm so excited about and if you stick around guys i have a little treat for you after diane is done but she's got so much good stuff to share and show and all of that um but if you stick around, I've got a little something fun that we're going to do together where I'm going to give you three quick little tips on how to pop your pages because I'm all about the pop, as you know. I just started my pop crops. That was so fun for those of you who joined in the pop crops. That was really, really fun. I had, I had such a good time with you guys. Um, and you know, I'm always... Uh, happy to have my pop stars in my pop Facebook group. You guys know how to find that. I'll have links if you don't. And so I thought, why not also share how to pop your pages? <laughs> why not? <laughs> so we'll just go on a little pop journey tonight. But without further ado, there are so many people joining us, Diane. They're just all, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Carrie says her pocketbook is in trouble on Monday. Mine too. <laughs> Because I think I want to check every single box on every single item. So you guys want to see it? I'm going to switch over to Diane close up. Let her say hi. And then Diane, you just let me know when you want to switch to the overhead. Okay, thanks, Lauren. I am so excited to be here with you all tonight. And thank you for inviting me. So I am super lucky and excited to share all the new product launching on Monday. So we'll do a sneak peek tonight and I will share any information I have and we'll get up close and personal with the product. So I have a huge display and what I'll do is pick everything up and show it up close and personal under the overhead camera. So yeah, Lauren, let's let's get to it. I feel okay. like it's gonna take a while. And All so right, let's grab a see piece it. of paper and a pen oh. because you're going to want to make some notes. I, I promise you, you'll yeah. want to make some notes. Oh my gosh, I'm already drooling right now. I'm, dro <laughs> I'm drooling right now. Look at that page, the laser. Yeah, so oh. this is a sample, a sample from the new Wanderlust collection. So are you ready to talk about some new product? Oh, this yes. is the Creative Memories brand new travel collection. And it has the name Wanderlust. And what's so exciting about this collection is that I feel like the people at Creative Memories, the design team, they really hit it out of the park on so many collections. This is my absolute favorite new travel collection. And I won't show you all the papers first. What I really want to get into is just the feel of this collection, how it's going to make you reminisce. It's going to trigger those travel happy memories and emotions. And so where I'm going to start is actually on the embellishments pack and the reason i'm doing this is because i want you to go along on a journey with me so think about this and honestly i need extra packs of the embellishments for my planner and just my my journal and these are pieces of the embellishments pack so they're little cards Those are and so, so whether you're traveling in california or the rockies or you know the snow-crested mountains 
or this looks like it could be just about anywhere. This looks southwest or anywhere you're going, these are going to pull you in. It says to travel is to live. Oh, darling, let's be adventurers. How cute is that? <laughs> That's and so this cute. says on a little getaway. And this says always take the scenic route. Then words like explore, photo op, and travel. And so that's just a little sampling of where we're at right now in 2022 and with our travel. So things like you could be going to a national park or you could be going to the park down your street. You can use camera icons. What about this one? Life is good. Like, isn't that really what we're focused on is what brings us joy and happiness and it's family time probably in a car, right? right? Let's be honest. Now, for those of us traveling the globe, that's awesome. I'm dreaming about that. Mm, me <laughs> I'm too. not actually traveling the globe right now. Maybe you have trips to catch up on. How about pack your bags? I love those three words, right? Okay. You might be leaving on a jet plane, or this is like a luggage tag that says our adventures too. So what I love so much is Check out this one. It just says outdoor adventures. The next one says exploring the city. So really aren't those things that we're doing? We might be going to a city a few hours away from us, or we might just be going outside. And that's what I do a lot. I do outdoor adventures, okay? They're just down the street, but they're called outdoor adventures. Or how about this luggage or let's go travel. I'm not showing you all of these just because there are so many. But I do want to say the Wanderlust embellishments come in the Cascade packaging with 40 die cuts, 17 enamel stickers, and six gemstone stickers. So there is a buy it all bundle that I'll tell you about. Um, these are the enamels. Aren't they cute? You know, so I love we'll keep going because there is so much. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to show you this one because we're going to show you how that goes with the stickers. But well, let's go to the mats. So there are two packs of mats in this buy it all bundle. Sometimes we put together mats and they are vertical and horizontal the same. This is not that pack. So you'll want multiple packs of the mats because one side, for instance, this says I heart travel. This side says heart this place. This one says um, we were born to roam. I just love these words. This one says this is our happy place. This one says, I want to make memories all over the world. This one says, walk, explore, wander. How appropriate is that for 2022? Mm. <laughs> and so yeah. the whole pack is just delightful. You've got a lot of browns and blues and grays. Um, this says our little getaway, travel notes, pop five moments. Aren't they just beautiful? They're elegant yet simple. They're very versatile, they're very fun, and I will use them a lot. Just the colors, the patterns, oh, I will use them a so lot. so pretty. They are so, so pretty. Fun. So Everybody's, that's a little sampling Cynthia of the mats. Says, Cynthia says she wants two sets. I think I want at least two. <laughs> I want two Yes, I totally agree. <laughs> totally, totally agree. And the next thing I'm going to share is um, stickers. So let's just say that we've got some that are circles. I just pulled one of the circles from the embellishments. What I want you to note is that on the stickers, so we've got a sheet of the borders. We've got a sheet of the icons like a Vespa, a bicycle, a car, a plane, a sailboat, a ship, a camper, luggage, the city, the outdoors. Then we've got a sheet of just all types of tiles and sentiments. And so I just want you to note that, do you see, if I pull a circle off, do you see how I can layer in another oh, circle on the goodness. embellishments? <laughs> so some of these are designed to go together with the embellishments from the sticker pack. So to me, this just makes me reminisce about really fun trips I've had. And it just makes me dream about mm -hmm. where I want to go, travel stories I want to make and just gets me excited about what's to come, right? So we might have been in this little lull for the last couple of years. Some of you might have been stuck at home a little more than you planned. And 
I think we're all feeling like, oh gosh, we got to 2022, I'm so excited. And yet maybe things haven't changed that much for some of you. Maybe you're still a little bit at home a lot mm -hmm. and maybe you haven't taken a trip uh, yet. And I think this just helps us dream and really get excited and, oh, this just makes me so happy. Just reading these words, just being pulled into this kind of space. And so from there, I want to go into the mats, the laser mats. So the laser mats are elegant. They're beautiful. And I'm going to show you how we've used those in a couple of our samples. So there are two packs of paper. One is tone on tone. Now they have things like roadmap outlines, uh, newspaper, um, chalkboard, stripes, hexagons, all, all different types of really soft and subtle designs. And then the designer paper pack is, and so you get both of these paper packs in the bundle. So we've got icons with luggage. We've got um, camera icons with luggage. We've got a leather texture. This one has some snow-capped mountains on a road. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. And this I can show you in a border. Isn't that cool as oh, a border? so pretty. That's using um, the new border maker cartridge that I'll show you in just a minute. And then it also brings some elements of a... Sorry, I don't know the name of this color. It's an, it's almost like a burgundy. It's a very um, deep, um, it's not, not a cranberry. Uh, I'll, I'll have to figure out that color, the name of that color. This one is the chevron, but all the blues and all the browns and all the grays, they all work perfectly together. How about this one? This would be a perfect kind of California, you know, right? Oh, so, so pretty. So, so many outdoor pictures you can use this for. It's so beautiful, stripes. And then this one is very interesting. So this one is almost like a um, newsprint page, but it talks about wanderlust. The wish to travel far and wide, to let the world be your guide. <laughs> I just love all of it so much. So you've got two paper packs and then putting them all together to share the collection. So things like the the lasers, so you know with our lasers, they have a double side. So this is one side, and then this is the other side. What a lot of people do with our laser mats and our laser borders is they layer them. So they might go behind one photo or on a side of a page. So they don't necessarily need to be the whole thing used. However, so this has got two of our mats, a couple of strips of paper. Isn't that just gorgeous? Now, this one is using this laser. It's a very nice design. So we've used that burgundy color, or we could have used this mm, kind of newspaper print. Now, what's really great about this, there's a new tool called the Embossed Hexagon Decorative Punch. And if you punch, so it's embossed. If you punch, they go perfectly inside these shapes. Isn't that cool? Diane, now, I have to say, like, that has been one of the top three on my list for so long. The the whole strategy of layering and things going together. So this excites me so much. <laughs> oh, I totally agree. And we and we are actually going to give everybody a little bit of a challenge tonight. Yeah using a little idea from this. So if you'll notice, so we've used that behind the laser uh, mat. And again, you could cut this diagonal, you could cut it in half. There's so many ways to use lasers as a beautiful layer. So think about the embossed hexagon and what we did on this side of it, which is the same as this border. We punched a bunch of them and made it an edge. So we're actually going to challenge you to make an edge with something you have tonight and share. And so basically what we've done is just put the very edge, so it's the triangle shape when you tuck most of it behind and it's just so effective with this and this. So these two edges are very similar, but they're completely different. And it just really pulls your eye to the photos and it's just really such a, pleasing page. So this is showing embellishments, mats, um, the 
both the packa mats and the laser mats and it's showing just all the things it's just so beautiful oh, so that's is. one sample this is another sample and this is this is really um, speaking to me on how simple things need to be documented like a picnic uh, we drive to the beach we you know just walk for an hour and obviously these people have gone with their dogs um, they might be camping they have a van um, it just looks like fun and um, they're taking their paddle boards and i just think what a great page to say life is good adventure on a little getaway wanderlust with their binoculars and their little camper and this just it's just a four perfect picture page and we can all do this with this beautiful collection because these are outdoor pictures there's some water it's not blue water it's definitely you know that time of day where it's um it could be a lake it could be um a river a stream an ocean it just works the travel the wanderlust travel papers just work so do you love it we love it we absolutely love it and that's what i think we talked about earlier diane is how even if you just take a little getaway like a little weekend getaway this is a beautiful collection or if you do you know a huge road trip whatever it's just gonna work and right um we had a question come up in the chat okay. do you happen to know if that hexagon is close you know we had those double hexagon punches i'm sure you get asked that is there is it one of the same sizes or is it different i know this has an um embossing feature to it i don't know if they caught yeah um comparing to the other ones i would have to ask um at product development that sherry would know but i don't know if they're exact or not so i can measure it if somebody has one i can measure it if you want to punch yours out and i can measure what these are if that helps yeah why don't we see why don't we see okay when, i will you get a i chance. can measure yeah yeah okay so this is the border maker cartridge that comes in the buy it all bundle and it's called chevron arrows so again, if it didn't make sense, the embossed hexagon is coming. It's not here yet. The Chevron Arrows is here and it's in the bundle. So the Chevron Arrows is a super cool punch or border maker cartridge. So for this project recipe, it's very simple. And we basically took, um, I think it was five inches on our project recipe. And then we punched the edge with the Chevron Arrows. And it's a very simplistic recipe. You could actually add more photos to this, or you could just keep it the same and add more journaling. Or if this, if you're aesthetically, um, if you're, this page pleases you like this, then I would just leave it like this. But we did this very simplistic on this pack for, you know, just something different because sometimes our project recipes are a little advanced. And then sometimes mm -hmm. it's nice to have something that's just really easy, goes together in about five or 10 minutes, and then you're done. And you could do your whole album like this with just the edge using different colors of paper, different blues, different grays, different browns. So that is the project recipe. And then, oh, and also seasonally. So I just wanna say that it looks cold. They have on winter hats, They've got their dogs. It looks like it could be colder. And so this paper works for any season too. I, I mean, I would use it really just for any season because I think just your outdoors with the sand and the water, it just really works in those camping type pictures. So then we get to the Fast and Fab album and that cover looks like this. Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. So it says so Travel pretty. Memories and it is in a rustic brick color so it's a really beautiful rich color when you open it up it looks like this so you can just get the fast to fab pages if you want you can get the album if you want and with these fast to fab pages what i think is really great is that you can just go to work so quickly you don't mm -hmm. have to do a lot with these pages because they have such great designs already. So they're taking stripes and they're taking some of the textures. They're taking like the leather. They're combining. Um, this one's a dotted page. And I just find Fast and Fab 
album so easy to work with because it kind of gives me a direction where my pictures can go quickly. I can add a border or I can add some mats if I choose. And if I choose to just go with pictures, this page has only pictures, four pictures on this side, three pictures on this side, and that's it. There's an embellishment, an embellishment, an embellishment, and sticker, and it's done. So, you know, you can take 20 pictures, 60 pictures, you can take quite a few pictures and you can be this far in just a couple of hours with a fat, with the right fast to fat, right? If you have a trip album or you have an outdoor day or maybe it's a photo shoot at the beach and it just looks good. I mean, they have on some blues and pinks. You're using all these natural toned papers and it just really draws you to the pictures, right? So what do you think of the Fast to Fab? I, I love it. I used it for um, when we had the travel log and you're right, it gives you that base and it was so fast and easy to put your pictures on and just add those pieces as they go. It was just so nice. Look at that. Okay, Diane, you know, my, we've got over 175 folks on right now, just saying, and they are just dying to know more about the tools. So I've got to go back and ask these questions. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, two yeah. Questions. They want to know if you could measure that hexagon because they're, they're dying to know how it shapes up. <laughs> <laughs> to the yes, old one. Let me just grab. I have to grab a um, ruler. Hang on two seconds. Let me okay. grab one. And then just take me a second. While you're doing that, maybe this you can answer the chevron, the border maker cartridge. They want to know when you did that on the edge. Did you yes. slide it? Like, did you? How does that work? Does it punch okay. through? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So basically, on this project recipe. I'll just put it right here on this project recipe. I'll pull this page apart so you can see. I know it looks more tricky than it is. It's really not tricky at all. So what we did. Oh, I'm going to rip it. No. Um, oh. sorry. Oh, we can see. Don't that. Watch me rip oh, it. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay. okay watch. Look. So okay. do you see that this is just a brown piece of paper? Ah. So it, this it is some... about five inches. This is just punched all along the edge. So it gives that kind of thick edge on the top. Like when you put it in the border card yes. holder. I and love And to be that. honest, I thought when I first saw it and I was playing with it and I was looking at some samples, I actually thought it was woven. I thought somebody right. took a strip and wove it and I think you could weave it, but it's not woven. Right, right. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. So okay, fun. and then right, let's yeah. just do this so you guys can see. So from edge to edge, it is going to be one and a quarter inches. Okay, so it is the same size as one of our older punches, but you guys, it's embossed. It is, and the embossing is very, very nice. I mean, I don't think it does it justice in this light, and I don't know if you can see on some of my samples. Let's see if I can find a sample that'll show it better. Well, that is using the Chevron again. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's darling. Isn't that and cute is, with the writing? Catherine okay. was asking, it is a, so it is a negative space BMC, so it punches out yes. those Chevrons, yeah. Yes, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if I could show you a color that would make more sense. Oh, right there. Oh, go back, Diane. Now, now toward the light. The dark side, the dark side. There you go. You guys see it? Now hold it up a little closer to the camera. <laughs> Do you guys see? It's like a. Is that double. working? Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't it's it? It's like a double um, embossing. It's a double emboss. Yeah. Okay. Very you guys... cool. Plus, if you wanted to, you could then. Do another color and you would have to fussy cut it, but you could make an edge that was mm. that center part yeah. that would make it look completely different. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I so yeah, it. this is how it, this is yeah. how it um, embosses. Yeah. Oh, see, there you go. And and we do have to say, Diane, this is not going to be available till March. So drool for the next couple of months. <laughs> Put it on your wish list. Put it on your wish list. Make sure you know I'll be posting as soon as it's available. So 
Yeah, that's really been the hard part for us too, is just the waiting. Yeah. And we have all these great things and we have all these great samples. And then, oh, let's wait a while before you get that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, we, we feel bad about it. Right. Now, um, this is another it. sample using the cartridge. Mm -hmm. So again, this is the cute Chevron Arrow cartridge, but doesn't it layer nice with the browns, the grays, and the blues? It's I mean, beautiful. it's just really it's so beautiful. So that's another... And I really like how it gives the strip, that edge detail of the strip. It does. It really does. It's very interesting. It's a very interesting. <laughs> well, and if you look at this one, so look at these two together. So this one, do you see how we left a little more of the edge or the mm -hmm. lip or whatever you want to say mm -hmm. on the right side and on the left side, it's thinner. Right. Right. Hmm. Yeah. So there's so many ways you can use that. So many. Yeah. Ways. And if you're just punching it, it's going to come out like that. Right. So, you know, you can make it as thin or thick as you want on the edges. I mean, this is going to be right up next to the edge, but that's a good half inch. Right. Okay. So there's that. And then, so that was the project recipe. Those were some samples of the borders and cards. And then, so that is Wanderlust. And, oh, and let me also tell you <clears throat> that... There's a very special notebook. If you do the buy it all bundle, you get this really cool travel notebook that has sheets of lined white, Spargo and natural uh, journaling paper in it. So you can actually take it with you on trips, you could journal inside of it and use it as journal boxes when you get home. So do go for the buy it all bundle and then buy extra components if you think you need more embellishments and stickers and mats and that's what I would do. I would double up on my embellishments, stickers and mats, but I would go for the buy it all bundle because two packs of paper, the mats, the stickers, the laser mats, the embellishments and the chevron arrows are included with the free notebook while supplies last. And that goes on sale on Monday. So right, right. then the other one that I just wanted to mention and I'm doing this with a little wink in my eye because I'm not allowed to exactly say why I'm saying this. This listen was closely. launched in... Listen, listen, ladies, listen. <laughs> so I'll share a couple of the samples of Welcome Home that was launched in January. And basically, Honeycomb came out with the January launch. If you didn't get this one, can I just say you want to add this to your list right now? I mean, not only do we have Honeycomb, there... There's another reason you are really, really going to want this one. Do not miss out. Make sure this is on your order because, um, yeah, in, in a very short time, <laughs> you are going to know why I'm saying this. Why? But yes. just take my word for it if you uh, you don't want to miss out on Honeycomb. So just thought I'd share that as a little tip. And next, I am going to go to our next travel collections. So you thought travel, wanderlust, good, right? We love, love it. it. Love it. And just think of the honeycomb with the hexagon punch. Oh my gosh. So fun. Look so at fun. that. Oh my so goodness. now we're going over to Mexico. Oh no, we're going to Italy first, sorry. Oh yes. I'm going, going to Italy, Italy <laughs> and we are going to show you a beautiful album, which I mean, Although this is beautiful with your um, ornate circles, I would say that you could use it for just about anything. There, we're first going to Italy, and there are five laser borders in the pack. And if you've been with us for a while, you know we used to come out with theme packs on a regular basis, which meant four sheets of double-sided printed paper, and then one sheet of designer stickers, and a sheet of cardstock. So for Italy, let me just share with you why I will be using this. I haven't traveled to Italy lately. <laughs> Let me just say that. Mm -hmm. However, I will still use this theme pack and I can usually get two double page spreads out of one theme pack. So you might be thinking Italian dinner or party or trip to a vineyard or you like to drink wine, right? We've got lots of reasons. And even if I wasn't going to Italy, Maybe I, there's a birthday celebration at an Italian restaurant. 
I could also fussy cut where Italy is and I could still use the back of this one. Um, wine bottles. I don't, I think those are adorable. And then the beautiful. That is gorgeous. Oops. That one right there. Beautiful. Yes. It's so pretty. And then I'll share with you. Um, so Italy for sure. And this one, I just love this pattern paper. It's almost a mosaic tile. It's almost, uh, I mean, it's just really good for so many things. Like I would use this for outdoors, for um, a family gathering. I would use it for, and the colors all go together so well. So I would just say so many reasons to get this one. And they're very affordable. You've got two border stickers. And like I said, if you've got a birthday dinner, if you've got so many reasons that you could um, really choose Italy. So if you want to go to Italy and maybe you're planning a trip there, maybe you haven't scrapbooked your pictures there. Italy and Mexico were the two most mm. favored in our poll. So Mexico is the other one. Now, hopefully you've been to Mexico lately. If you haven't, again, I can turn over the Mexico one. I could do a bit of fussy cutting and suddenly it becomes a Southwest border. So to me, it's very versatile. Also, I just put these on with a uh, repositionable tape runner. This one's got more of a red on the edge. And if you flip it over, it's got more of a blue. So whichever side you want to use. Oh, and this album is the cacti green. So isn't that beautiful? So pretty. You see it? So pretty. It's so nice. So if you're in the Southwest or you go to a Mexican themed party, um, you've got all the fun things. You've really got a fiesta, right? So you've got Cinco de Mayo coming up and you've got, I mean, I love Mexican food. I love Taco Tuesday. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. there are so many things I love. <laughs> so just get me going and I'm there. You've got your avocados. I mean, you've got a pinata. So right. how many parties, kids parties still have pinatas? So I think it's absolutely adorable. I love this pack because of the bright colors. Oh, and I just love this one. So as much as I love the Italian design paper, I love the Mexico design paper just as much. It's got a floral pattern. It's just um, simple and elegant and almost delicate. It's really beautiful the way they've done that one with the cacti, with the stripes. So very bold, beautiful stripes. And then we've got some oh, chilies, peppers, oh. chili. Well, I guess chilies. So there we go with Mexico and the album. So again, you can get just the theme packs. You can get just the albums. You can get both. That's really and you the know, laser a lot on offer. And Diane, I should say, you know, I still have people requesting the laser borders from, um, the, what was it? It was the, the cruise. What were the, Oh other yes. Orders? The scenic route. I mean, when those laser borders come and you see them on pages. So in other words, don't wait, <laughs> don't wait. And, and don't always wait. get two packs. Yeah. If you're doing a, a themed page for Mexico or Italy always get two packs of laser borders because you're just going to be happy that you did. I yeah, can't explain yeah. why, but one is not enough. It, you it's always just want not enough. No, the two. lasers really oh, do two. seem to go fast. So yes. Mm -hmm. So my next one is going to be the, we went to New Orleans on a Nansina trip and Lauren went, mm -hmm. she so qualified fun. yay. <laughs> and everyone was given the let the good times roll paper pack. So as I'm speaking to you too tonight, maybe you've been to Mardi Gras. That's awesome if you have. Maybe you visit New Orleans. And it's okay if you haven't. You're still going to love this paper pack, the bright colors. And let me just give you a little bit different perspective. We do have a project recipe. We also have a masquerade border punch, which is and so Diane, cool. Diane, before we go on, it's so funny. So everybody in the chat was like, you can use the Mexico for Disney Epcot. <laughs> oh, right. You could. Right. Everybody's like, oh, Disney, Disney, Disney. So we should just say that. Yeah. Debbie. Yes. And, and I will tell you, I just did some Disney pages from Disney World for um, our granddaughter's first trip there in November. I had it all scrapbooked within a couple of weeks. 
but I used two different collections. One collection I used was um, more Disney focused, but the other collection that for Animal Kingdom I used um, Deep in the Woods. Yeah, yeah. Because so it really fit. We can just bring this all in. Um, yes. Someone else said, you know, um, New Mexico, Cynthia goes, oh yeah, New Mexico, Arizona, anytime here in the Southwest, it's beautiful. So totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. So with this one, I want you to think outside the box because for this one, I'm thinking, I mean, masquerade parties and balls. Uh, many of us have been in masks the last couple of years, <laughs> which, you know, that's a whole other thing. But what I want you to think of is music. So this is the album cover. This is the Green Jubilee. It also comes in ebony. So think about the musicians in your life and in your family. Maybe you've got a student that is in band. Maybe mm -hmm. you've got a student that plays musical instruments or you've got a music teacher in your life. So think about the perfect albums this would be. Maybe you've got somebody that goes to a lot of musical shows or performs in Broadway, plays or- Broadway you know? shows. Broadway shows. Oh, yeah. I love Broadway shows. <laughs> so think about, because I just think the music notes are absolutely elegant. And I think there's so many other reasons than just the New Orleans paper pack. Um, and also with the masquerade punch, I think there are so many great reasons to get this. Now, if you've been to Mardi Gras, then you'll know that that's just so much fun. And these are our colors. I also think these will be school colors for some people. So mm -hmm. think about if your school colors have bright greens or purples or gold, then you could use maybe some totally tonals or some other cardstock colors to complement your pages. And this also has music note pages. So just think about the people in your life that would love to have some pages or an album and let the good times roll. I mean, there's so many titles that are appropriate for this paper pack and this album and, you know, the, the music of your life, the, the, I mean, we can think of so many titles, right. couldn't we? Right. So you've got on Broadway. this project recipe, oh sorry. Gosh. Wicked, wicked on Broadway. Those are wicked. Yes, colors for sure. <laughs> it would be, it would be great for wicked actually. Mm -hmm. So you've got the, the punch, the paper, the album, you've got the two theme packs. So we could go to Italy, Mexico, New Orleans. We can go travel all over the world and wanderlust. And yet there's more. So let's think about if you've been in the cold lately because we also have some punches that are coming back. So if any of you ordered the Black Friday bundles, then Lauren will be telling you how you'll get those. I've already done a big post on that. Order okay, Monday perfect. and you get the surprise. You get your punches in your box. So if you, if you love Wanderlust, it's all good because you just order Wanderlust and then you get your promo punches. Yes, that's so, it. That is it exactly. It. <laughs> so this one is, think about snowbound. So if you have been to the snow, if you like skiing, if these are your colors, so maybe you live in a wintry place, this is, uh, we've been waiting for the snowflake spring punch. And it is arriving Monday, you can order it. It's going to be good for so many more things than just snowflakes and cold. It is going to be good for party themes. Um, I just thought of another one for Mexico too, I have to say. So has anybody seen um, the new Disney movie <laughs> in um, Encanto? No? I, I haven't yet. Is that? So this would be perfect for that. We, oh. we have a four-year-old, so we have seen the new <laughs> Every Disney, Disney movie. movie. <laughs> just, just had to say that. Okay, so that's a punch that is coming on Monday. So you've got your winter theme as well. And then there's more. So I want to get right into something that I'm super excited about. And that is a brand new card kit. And I am going to share with you... It didn't want to stay up, so I have some things taped to my um, desk, I have to say. Um, <laughs> sometimes it all falls over, sometimes not. So this is called the Made For You 
card kit. And if you're not familiar with our card kits, I just wanted to share with you how they come packaged because it's so beautiful. So you get 12 envelopes and 12 card bases. And with this one, it's got a really nice, almost cement looking texture on the outside color. So those are the cards and the bases. And then all the pieces come and it's got a whole pack of bonus product. So this is the bonus product. And what's so great about it is look how many sentiments are extra bonus product. It's just a whole sheet of bonus product. And so if you wanted to say hello, grateful for you, thank you so much, happy birthday a couple of times, you can swap out the sentiments. And then I'm just going to show you how you use the cards. So that's the bonus product. And then this will show you how one is put together. This is another one. So for each two sheets, it's two cards. And basically, they're all numbered. So for instance, this is 12, um, that's two. I thought I had them in better, um, better order. Um, so they're super easy. It takes about 30 minutes to put together a whole box of the cards. And they were great as a gift. So if you wanted to order a box, put it together, and then package them back up, complete it as a gift, that's a great idea. Or just to, ha to do it and have, you could always add the sentiment later. You don't have to add the sentiments right away. But they are absolutely gorgeous. And I highly recommend this pack. So again, put this on your list, made for you. Also makes a great gift. So if you have some, a coworker, a friend, somebody's birthday, a family member, it's a great affordable gift item with this complete box of cards. So don't forget that one. I just, I just love this one so much. So I hope you do too. Yeah. So that is the made for you card kit. And you know, one and of the wait, things... there's more. Go ahead. <laughs> one of the things I, I did with the card kit, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I, um, my mother-in-law, you know, sometimes we need small bite-sized projects to do with elderly folks. And um, so we did a card kit one time and I love it because you have that sense of accomplishment when you're done because it really doesn't take that long. And then she gets a great gift, but it's a time for us to be together as well. And it's not that complicated. <laughs> So um, I, I love card kits, you know, as a way of connecting with someone who may not be all into scrapbooking, but at least it's kind of, you know, she's working with her hands, you get to talk and it's just such a wonderful thing. So, and it's a great starting point if you don't, if you don't scrapbook or if you're, if you want to learn how to craft, it's a great beginning point mm -hmm. i totally agree and you don't have to craft you don't have to scrapbook to do one of our card kits <laughs> it is just a fun girls night out so i totally agree with you yeah so the other things that i just want to share quickly in case you miss them because i know sometimes it's easy to miss some of the launches sunburned country is one that just came out and it is designed for Austra our australian market and it is very Australiana with some of the colors. It's perfect for really any outdoor photos, especially with animals or sunsets or more of that um, desert type um, terrain. So I highly recommend the Sunburnt Country. I'll be using it for outdoor photos. We also have an Australian template. Now, if you haven't been to Australia, that's okay. It can be one of those places you plan to visit or maybe you have been to Australia and you haven't done your pages yet. So that's an option. Well, we've the other one I just wanted to share. Aussie friends on right now, Diane. Oh, really? Australian friends right here. Just well, said so this page was completed. Yeah. Our samples were done by Kylie Kingham and she's brilliant. And so I just want to shout out that Kylie did these and it was Australia Day this week on Wednesday. So happy yeah. Australia Day to the Australians. <laughs> and... Um, I just, I just love this so much. I love everything about the Australia on pack. Um, and did you and guys know Diane it. lived in Australia? Did you I guys did. know that? So. Yes. So yes, <laughs> we, my family has dual citizenship. We were transferred there. So yes, we love Australia. 
So and fun. we call it home sometimes. We certainly do. Okay, now Welcome Home also came out in January. In case you missed this, I just want to share a couple of things. Oh, my, I've got a little battery. I need to plug in. Hang on. We don't want to lose me on a battery. Hang on one second. <laughs> yeah. I have to plug my phone in. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm glad okay. you caught it. Yeah. No worries. We're good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I've been live for a few hours today. So it's just... It just needs some more battery. Um, so what I love about the Welcome Home Pack is just the versatility. I love the warmth and just how it just invites you in. I love the flower patterns and the lighter tonals. So this one has two packs of paper. And I'm just quickly going to go through this in case you haven't seen it. I know Lauren showed you before. Again, I love the lasers and I love... I just love everything about this, really. I love the mats. I love what they say. We have been staying home more, so I feel like the design team really, they really listened to what our, what we're doing with our photography skills, and we're playing a lot of games. Um, again, this is the Honeycomb Border Maker cartridge with the Project Recipe. So if you want to try that out, ask Lauren. Um, I just love how you can use the honeycomb a little bit, or you can use it a lot. And I love some of these sayings, home is not a place, it's a feeling. Um, stay a while. I mean, really, mm -hmm. hasn't everybody been glued to screens and, you know, trying to, <laughs> trying to play games and trying to stay off screens? Haven't we had a lot of hot chocolate mornings and breakfast together and this is my happy place? Um, the other thing I want to mention, in case you didn't get it, is the Quilted Knot Project Recipe. I love this one for so many reasons. And one reason is if you have somebody that's just purchased a new home, they're having a new baby, maybe um, they just got married or they're getting married, that special photo works perfectly with this Quilted Knot Project Recipe template. And you can frame it. It makes a beautiful gift frame. So somebody that maybe doesn't scrapbook, um, again, you could start them with a faster fab if you thought they would enjoy that. If they, you know, have a small space or they're not interested in scrapbooking, then maybe a template, a project recipe template is the answer. Oh, and let me just share a couple of these. So again, I'm back to my honeycomb on that one right. and this one. And then I just want to share how I take um something like honeycomb and then i take my mats so when i take my bigger mats sometimes i will cut the bigger sizes and down like this because it makes it super easy to use as a journal box and so i haven't put a lot of adhesive on this but it has a little bit of that border mm. it has a little piece of sticker and then this one says pride and joy so it might go next to a garden picture or it might go next to you know some project in the yard. Um, this one says our garden. So everybody's got house plants or they've got something they're really proud of in their home, or maybe it's just a family picture in front of your front door. Really encourage, I'm encouraging you to take pictures of just everyday life and celebrating everyday life. And the Welcome Home Collection does that so well. So I want to share how I take pieces of say, let's say this one. So sometimes I'll do a border and I don't add these stickers yet, but I'll just make my layers. And then I'll cut these in half. And then what I do is take a card base and then I actually will make cards. So if you have any extra borders, I would encourage you to maybe get them out and think outside this box and maybe make a few fun different types of um, cards or maybe make some journal boxes and I'm sure Lauren is the expert at this but I just want to encourage you if you've got a collection like Welcome Home or Lullaby Lane or you're ordering the new Wanderlust. I love making things ahead of time. Um, the Lullaby Lane collection is a super one to make some samples of for baby cards and for those special ones coming. So if you know somebody having a baby or recently had a baby, or maybe you've never done your baby albums, I mean, how many of us have that? 
I recommend the Lullaby Lane. I know it's very on trend with the colors. Um, there are girl and boy packs of paper. So I won't go through all that because I know you've probably seen it. The girl pack has more pink and green. And I know that's very on trend. The boy pack has more um, green and blue. And then the designer pack has more patterns. So I just love the different paper colors. And people have asked me how this one's made. So I'll just tell you in case you're wondering. <laughs> this is a circle. Right. And let me just show you because I've pulled this apart before. <laughs> I do this all the time. So see what I'm doing? Right. It's two thin pieces of paper to make the X. There's no X. It's just two thin pieces of paper. And the circle is just I done for our custom cutting system, and right? This one has gorgeous mats. It has gorgeous embellishments. Mm. It really layers well. It's got gorgeous stickers. And I just love the pattern papers. I think they're just so fun and joyful. And then this is the project recipe with our little jammies order maker cartridge. Diane, can you Oh, and this back? project recipe is super fun to make and you make it with the circles and the custom cutting system. Oh. So ask Lauren if you need this project recipe. It is, um, it'll take you a minute. Use, use some scrap paper to do these circles. I, I, that's my tip. <laughs> took me more than once. And then, um, this is just a sample with some of the different patterns and then the, the Fasta Fab. So this is a great gift album. If you know somebody having a baby, a girl or boy, um, they will love this album. So that is what I have to share tonight from the January launches. And I think, I think I covered it. Oh, so my, my challenge and we've got prizes is if you share a border idea using one of your current punches or a border maker cartridge and you layer it like this. So you can use different papers and then put the pattern together like this and then show us the edge, show us your border edge. And then we've got some prizes, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And we, um, we'll have to figure out how to, if, if someone, um, from, you know, we've got Canadians and Australians, and I think um, Margarita is from Puerto Rico. So we've got a, folks from all over, Diane. So we'll have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you enter our contest, then we'll figure out, um, we'll pick some random winners and I will either ship something from me or we'll ship it from home office. But I would say I have some extra punches sitting here that you would probably really appreciate. So we'll, yeah. we'll figure something out for you, okay? So this is what you're gonna have to do. You're going to have to go to my Facebook page. I know not everybody's on Facebook, but you're gonna need to go to my Facebook page because Diane and I will put together how you get your goodies for the challenge. And I'm gonna say you can either do a challenge like Diane said, where you can put the edge on there, or we're going to do a little fun border tonight. So um, on a, a pop border, something that's going to pop, and you can do my border. But you're going to need to go to Craft Some Joy with Lauren Hines on Facebook, and I'll get the um, I'll get the post up tomorrow on how you can um, work with us on our challenge. How does that sound? Does that Sounds great. Okay, so we'll have all the details there. Craft some joy with Lauren Hines because it's really hard to do it on YouTube. We can't, <clears throat> we can't really see what you post or it's only, you know, via comment. So, um, but if you are enjoying this, you know, I love all the comments that have come in and uh, they're just so, so fun, so fun. I'm my head is about to explode. How about you? <laughs> so does anybody have their list ready? What do you need on your list? What's what's the most what's the most important thing for you to get the biggest thing on your I I, I keep seeing okay, Diane, they want to see the hexagon punch close up again. <laughs> okay. So of course they do. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> It's the one. It's the one we can't order yet. <laughs> and then, can you show? Can you grab one of your little punched hexagons and see if we can catch the light again? 
Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you know what? I'll take the card again. That card seemed to show up. Yeah. I'll put some of these on here. I'll put you all different colors. To see it. Do you see those? Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. Woohoo! Yeah, Pam, I'm right with you. Everything is on my list too. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Honeycomb, Wanderlust, Wanderlust Bundle, Music Album, All the Tools. I'm with you, Cindy. <laughs> Sue says at least two of everything. Yep. <laughs> everything, um, Wanderlust, so many beautiful layouts. Border Maker cartridges, Hex, Chevron, the second Wander. <laughs> The second wonder list. Everybody's loving it all. Diane. Oh, good. I love it all. That's a lot. Well, so. enjoy shopping and enjoy the rest of your night. I hope I didn't talk too long. No, I love it. I'm going to bring you back on because you know what, Diane? Um, I forgot to, um, I'm going to bring you back on front. So you're going to need to step right in where the album is, where the oh, Italy right album. Yes. Because did you guys see how I set this up like a scrapbook page for you guys? Did you guys see this? I did this for you with the little embellishments <laughs> and the little journaling. <laughs> so I told Diane, You're so I, would, good. I told Diane I would get a screenshot. So, all right. Are you ready, Diane? Hang on. Let me put this one up. I need, does it look okay? Is my display still good? Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, okay, one, two, three. All right, I got it. So everybody's saying, oh, tools, Mexico, Italy, Wanderlust. I think they want it all, yep. And they said, thank you, thank you, thank you, Diane, because to be able to touch it and see it and feel it and have it, you know, like, oh, show it a little closer, show it a little closer, right? Um, it's just so much fun. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. It was so nice to be here. Thanks for inviting so me. So we're going to say goodbye to Diane for now. And Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> so just remember, on Monday, this is where you can go to order all your good stuff. And here's my Facebook, Craft Some Joy with Lauren Hines. Okay, so if you want to um, grab... Uh, find out about the challenge Diane and I are going to give you. Make sure you go over to Facebook tomorrow. I'll get the post up. Right now, today, I have the post of all the new stuff. So if you want to go, oh, I want to see that again. I just have the little cards up on my Facebook page. So everybody's saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, Diane. They loved it. They loved it. Okay. Well, I have a little tip before we leave today, but I sure enjoyed that too. And, um, but before we go, I want to share just a little something with you because you know me, I always like to give you just one more little tidbit, right? <laughs> so I'm going to switch over to my desk now. Yes, here we are. Okay. So I have been having some fun with the, uh, welcome home collection. And I think you guys have probably seen me use a lot of this. But what I wanted to give you were just a couple quick tips. Now, as always, you know, this is all you use it as you can. And um, so I, I'll go back really quick and just kind of share what I've done. So um, this was the uh, base page and border video. And I did this as a collaboration with Noreen Smith and Kylie Keegum. And so I just wanted to share in case you didn't see my finished pages, this was how I used um, the base page and the borders that I taught. So that video is up on my YouTube channel. You'll be able to find it right here. And then um, I thought, you know, this is such a neat collection. I kind of want to continue and just want to do a little bit more with this Welcome Home collection and, and play with it a little bit more. So this was going back in time. Like Diane was showing you some examples of how we can use it uh, for current life. Well, 
I went back in time to the first house that my husband and I bought together. Um, this was before kids, you know, so we had lots of time to work on stuff together. And this was our renovation. So I've started that album, which feels so good because I've wanted to have this together for so long. And um, so I, I started this little renovation album. And um, the this to me also goes, so this was uh, like early 90s. These photos were early 90s, but you can see how the collection goes really well, even with these older photographs too. So, so then I kind of came over here and, um, and thought, you know, there's really kind of some quick little tips that I wanted to share um, with how to kind of pop your pages. And this is a shout out to, like I said before, it's a shout out because we're doing our pop crops and I had so much fun with you. You guys are pop stars, my puppets. I love it. I just love all things to do with pop. And so when we're thinking, how do we pop our pages? I really want you to think of three different things. And of course, there's a million ways we can pop our pages. But the, the three that I kind of turn to over and over and over again are texture, dimension, and color. Those are kind of my three go-tos when I want to pop, when I want to just bring that wow to the page. And I see somebody might be asking um, what uh, punch this is. This was the, the one that was on last chance only for a short while. So um, it, I, if you didn't grab it, it is gone. But um, uh, this one, I, I forgot the name of, do you guys remember? Why is my brain not working? I couldn't remember the name, but anyhow, you could do this technique. This is a textural technique. This is texture, right? This is a laser border. So this is texture as well. And you can do, you can add texture into, onto your pages by laser borders, by punches, and just kind of adding all those different layers and elements. So that's texture. Dimension. What do we talk about dimension? Well, you guys know my favorite thing for dimension, right? And you can see here, this is up on a foam square. So not only am I getting dimension from this, but I'm also adding dimension by adding my little enamel dots. And you guys know I love enamel dots. <laughs> I love enamel dots. And then over here, I did the same thing. So, um, we have this, uh, our garden that's up on foam square. So I've got my dimension, I've got texture. And then the third thing is color. So if you were looking at this collection, I thought, well, there's a lot of all these different multicolors. There's this beautiful wood paper, but what color can I add that's going to give it a pop? So I wanted that kind of splash of color that's going to bring out that contrast and that's why I pulled in this green. Now this green is um, a paper. You guys might recognize it from a cardstock buffet a while ago because it also has texture. Do you guys remember that paper? There's a good shot of it. Leather, it was like a green leather. I forgot the name of that paper too, but it was only, it was from a cardstock buffet that um, maybe from last year or, or so. And you know, I love keeping those little pieces in my stash to add, you know, just when you need that little textural element. So, um, so, oh, not this punch, the first, the first punch, which, oh, this is a laser border. This is a laser border from the Welcome Home collection. Um, this is actually, I mixed in laser borders from Homestead right? Because look at the colors, how you can bring in those go gorgeous lasers from Homestead. Those are not available anymore. And then the same here, this, these are laser borders from the new Welcome Home collection. So I'm, I'm using everything. I'm using the, the texture, the color, all those different elements to make my pages pop. And that, that to me, those are my three go-tos. And you probably have um, 
the same same kind of thing, right? Um, your your kind of three things that you like to go to. One other thing I want to point out here. So as I, I, I was chatting with a friend and I said, you know what, I really, I don't have an opportunity for this, um, the jug. This, this right here is actually that jug, um, what do you call, you know, like a pottery jug that um, was an embellishment. And I thought, I don't really, that doesn't really go with this time period, but I love the color and I love the um, texture on here. So I just cut it. I just cut the top off and it makes a beautiful layering piece. And this one is cut from a um, matte pack. And this is with the, the wonderful tag maker we have. This is on this very smallest uh, strip of the tag maker, the one inch. And if you know, our, our tag maker goes one inch and then um, I think it goes, does it one and a quarter or one and a half? And, you know, so you can make different size. But I just wanted another little layering piece. And then I just, you know, did some little uh, wrapping of a, a little piece of brown paper there. So you know, think outside. I know Diane was saying, think outside the box. So this is, this is how I use the jug, <laughs> not as a jug. You guys know which one I'm talking about? Um, I'm sure you do. Okay. So, um, I, I have, let me see. So that's, let me bring it up. This is the welcome home collection. So this is, this is the jug I'm talking about, <laughs> right? So I just turned it and then thought, oh, I like that that as a layering piece. So you don't always have to do, use things as they're intended is, is my thought. And, um, and don't, you know, remember to bring in other collections. Look at that's from Homestead, uh, yeah, Homestead as well, but it goes beautifully with this collection. So, you know, mix and match, have some fun. Okay. That's the welcome home collection. Just wanted to kind of give you again, those three little tips, texture, dimension, and color. And one more little um, tip I have for you then is I have also been having some fun with, um, so, and here's another, this was a page I've been working on. This is a mat pack. I cut the mat pack in half and I rounded the corners with the corner rounder. So now I have a whole different look to the mat, which, let's see, where'd my, where'd I put the pack? Normally looks like, right? Our mats normally have these sharp corners. Well, grab your corner rounder, edge it, punch the edge. And now you've got a whole different look. And, and look how nice that's gonna be for a layering piece once I get my layout done for this page, right? Those nice rounded corners just give a whole different look. Okay, so just some tools, some ideas, and some thoughts for that. These are some more layering pieces, great laser borders for that texture, for adding your texture, dimension, and color. Always gotta bring in those pops of color. Okay. So do you guys want to see what I did for dimension? If we're going to talk a little bit more, um, and I'll have to come back and read the chat because when Diane was on, I could keep up with you guys. <laughs> now that I'm here, I've got to multitask and let me put this here and I'm going to show you a little trick that, um, I've recently been playing with for this one for dimension. And uh, I've, I've had a lot of fun looking at playing with the baby collection. So I thought, how can I really pump up dimension with the, with the baby collection? And not only that, but then remember, I always like to challenge you guys to think of this as a formula. So yes, I used the um, Jammies border chain. I'm saying that right now, <laughs> not the other one, it's Jammies. But how, how can you use this formula? This is a formula. What I'm showing you right here is a formula. How can you use that for other ideas? And 
can I hope you guys can see I wish if you if you could see this in person you could see really the dimension I've created with these uh, let me see if I can get close okay right there do you see how many layers I have right there of the jammies chain and then I also used foam squares and in person this feels so fun and it, I think it looks really good okay so <clears throat> how do you make this I'm going to give you a quick how-to and um, and then you can think of how you're going to use it so you can do Diane's challenge where you use kind of a border like either the hexagon um, I mean the honeycomb border punch or the mirror triangles or whatever you know punch and do that on the edge just a little peekaboo or if you want to do this we're going to add this to the challenge as well okay so for this we are going to uh, do the oval cutting system so I'm going to quickly kind of go through how to do this this is we're going to need the red blade and the blue blade okay so my ovals are red and blue for the white and the little uh, diaper pin and then the paper so then you're gonna need also a border cartridge right with um, a uh, standalone a, a border cartridge that makes a standalone uh, shape okay so not an edge but a standalone and then um, let me see I'm gonna grab we're gonna we're gonna switch it up a little bit so this would make a great textured border the camera punch and then you're gonna need some paper okay so let's do this let's grab um, <clears throat> I was gonna I wish I had the Wanderlust. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how fun this will be with the Wanderlust too? Okay, so I'm gonna kind of just share technique. The first thing um, you're going to need is either white cardstock or, as you guys know, I love index sheets, right? I love, whoops, my, paper, my packages are falling over. I love using index sheets. And so we're gonna just quickly use the index sheet to punch this camera. So I'm not gonna recreate this because you can see what that looks like right there. But let's let's do the same thing. I need my, what am I thinking? I'm just gonna punch it. Um, I need my border maker system. Punch this in here and we're gonna punch two rows of cardstock yes two rows of cardstock with the camera okay now you might think oh that's a little overdone Lauren but when you actually do it it's really fun it really is fun okay so and uh, be a little better when you're punching because I just made that crooked and that's gonna cause a problem but you guys you guys all figure it. You, 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 you'll get this. You'll get it. I'm going to switch this over. Okay, so let's do that again. And do that one more time. I'm, I'm dying for that wanderlust. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to redo this with the wanderlust collection. Oh, it would be so fun. Okay. And how did I, wow, I really moved it on. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm rushing. I'm trying to rush. So then what you wanna do is, not only am I creating dimension, but on this, if you'll notice, I'm also creating a frame. So I cut two of the onesies off this border. So it's not a full 12 inches, because this is my 12 inches. And you would do the same thing for this so you can see where i messed up those so i'm just going to take my scissors and i'm just going to cut this camera off right here 
And this is what, so depending on the punch you're using, right, is going to kind of dictate um, how wide you want to make your strip and your background. So I'm not going to give you, you know, oh, it has to be X by X because it really does depend on the punch you use, on the shape, because this this would probably need to be look a little different. I'm going to have a wider border, so I'm probably going to want this to feel a little uh, thicker, if that makes sense. Okay, so, oops, sorry, guys, jump, bump, bumping into that. All right, so I'm just, I just have the earthy home handy. This was, uh, I think it's still on last chance. Yep. Okay. Oh, so this is, I think it's still on last chance. You guys can, can find, make sure that of that for me, but let's just say, um, I wanted to do, let me see what's going to be. This is actually beautiful, kind of leathery for the background. I love the, the colors in this pack. And let's do, I mean, they have, ooh, such rich, rich, fun things. I'm actually going to punch the, the camera for fun. I'm going to punch it out of this color strip right here. Okay, so let's do that. And then I'll probably end up putting it um, on top here. So this is, this is the idea. But you can see how quickly we're going to change it by just changing up the paper and the collection and the borders that we're using, right? Okay, so, and don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna come back to the chat. I'm just trying to kind of get this done and then we'll wrap up with some Q&A for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna try to go a little slower so I don't make them. I love, wow, I love, is this paper still available? I'm, I hope it is because this is gorgeous. I have some in my shop and if you missed the green um, and you're, you know, you know how to get to my shop. I do have some more of those leaf borders still in my shop and the earthy home I think is still on last chance, but it's gorgeous. This paper, look how pretty that is. Sorry. Could you say that again? Oh, see, she wants me to say it again. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now what we need is we need our repositionable adhesive because we're going to just start putting these together in layers. So I'm just running this across and now I'm going to add it to the first layer of white punched cardstock. And you know, what, what's interesting is I, I actually kind of saw a similar technique, I happened to be watching a card maker and um, they were using this kind of, I mean, but they did it like 15 different, <laughs> I think they were using a dye, dye machine and then they did this like 15 times and they got this really super thick um, stack of the same punch out. But I was thinking, well, is there a way we could just kind of simplify that and, uh, but use it, you know, kind of in, in the scrapbook world. So anyhow, that's how I, did I just run out? I think I just ran out. That's how I came up with this. Um, but the, the reason I like using the cardstock is not only does it give you this really thick dimensional piece, okay, just like that, but it also then gives weight when you want to put this up on foam squares that, you know, I mean, it's not floppy at all. It's really holding that and creating that shadow layer, which I think is just so fun. So let's see. So on this one, love, love that on that. So I would just do, and you know, we could talk all night about, uh, exact dimensions, but let's just eyeball it guys. <laughs> We're going to do a quickie little eyeball tonight. So, um, I think I'm going to go, this is going to be, but I'll tell, okay, this is an inch and three quarter, an inch and three quarter. If you want to follow along inch and three quarter background 
for the camera, okay? And then that means um, I'm gonna need two and a quarter, I'm gonna go two and one quarter for this background, this base. And I could always trim that down, but I'm, I'm thinking that's gonna give a good reveal on my colors. Okay, so, so now we have the camera and the base, and now we've gotta create our frame. So I'm gonna bring this in, and again, I'm gonna eyeball, I could use my mat, and I can go, okay, I'm about a half inch in over here, Let's do a half inch in over here. So basically that means I'm cutting an inch off my speckly layer. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And how are we doing guys? I wanna read the chat, but I also, I know we have places to go, things to, things to do. So <laughs> let me just, uh, switch over. So I'm going to do this as a fun little middle layer. And I like this framed look. It's kind of a different border style. So here I'm going to go all in with foam squares and really just use the mini ones and layer this, layer this up where I have some areas to stick these to. Okay, so here we go. Have fun here. And, and then we're going to take all those off and pop that right down. So fun, fun, right? So how do we get this uh, background oval? That's the last piece. And, you know, I may wait to do some words on here when I get my wanderlust in. And remember, you can always save this fun little extra camera. Just trim that off, put it on a journal box, and we're good to go. So for this, what I wanted to do was have a layer. Um, sometimes what I do is I look at the stickers. And this sticker was outlined in white. And so I kind of wanted that to just fall into the background. And so you would just notice the baby girl and not so much the white around it. So that's why I chose the first layer here to be white. And then I did the safety pins underneath that. So, you know, kind of think about like this, you know, depending on when or what those words were going to be to come in, you could look at that. So here to create the ovals, I took the smallest oval pattern. And again, we'll just play, we'll just say we're going to use the white um, index. So for the first layer, okay, so you're going to use the red blade on the outside track, the smallest oval. Okay, I'm going to go all the way around, create that oval. So if you guys are doing this with me, pop in the chat what collection you're doing because I'd love to know what you're what you're using for this and then this oval actually see that's why we're glad we went under we put this under with repositionable adhesive right and this is again where you can use your beautiful mat and you know that this is your six inch line and that's where you want to put your oval is right in the center there. And then let's think about, oh, you know what's going to be fun for the background. They have this really cool, now who would have thought to use earthy home for travel, but it works, doesn't it? They have this really cool green paper, green scallop paper in earthy home. It has kind of this uh, blankety background, but we're going to take the scallop again. I mean the uh, oval. Hello. Get my terms right. And now we're going to jump up. So I skipped the green because it goes red, green, blue, 
but I wanted that again, I wanted that thick border. So let's see how this looks. You know, you can always figure out whatever works for you. Um, but here again, I'm using, I want some color. So I'm going to pop this green color in with my layers of brown. And I'm going all the way up to the blue blade. Blue blade, same pattern piece. But now I'm on the outside track and I'm going to make sure I'm loose. And then now I have just this really fun, oh, I like the green. Isn't that fun? Background. So, you know, you guys know I like to create on the fly, right? <laughs> right here with you. Let's see if this works. But look at that. It does. So now I can take these little foam squares off and pop that border on and find some really neat word art and stickers that are going to go with this, right? Wouldn't that be so fun? Look how fun that is. I'm going to put that one camera right in the middle and we have a popped popped layer with lots of dimension and I don't know it's just can I, I can't wait to see what I'm going to stick in here but you know that's the that's the area that now you get to finish it off and add something fun in there okay so what do you guys think super easy super fun okay I'm coming back at you with the chat so, okay. Oh, thank you, Catherine. I'm glad you like it. You like that combination, Mary? I know. So, so easy to do. This is, again, the um, Earthy Home. I'm not sure if I saw in the chat, if, if anybody saw that it was still available, but um, I do really like that pack. It goes really well. It still is. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Kathy says it's still on last chance and Ginny's still working on Valentine cards. That's, that's go. That's good. And Sandy, yeah, we got to, sometimes we got to do the tuck tuck and put the, you know, different layers in different places. So, um, thank you, Christine. I'm glad you like that border. Okay. Yeah. So there you have such a fun, different look for the camera border. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> um, let's see the bundles are the bundles offered digitally uh the always they, they will offer the paper and the stickers um you know kind of as a as a digital bundle um but they don't do the shapes okay like the punches they don't offer those digitally they do offer the laser borders you can you can use those digitally so um those do get included in our digital products list okay all right, so I hope, um, okay, um, let's see, what else? The texture, something similar to leather, yeah. Oh, you could do water, oh, ooh, super fancy, Lynette. We're gonna, yeah, do some texturing with water, although I've had my fill of water. <laughs> like, like, oh boy, right? So, okay, there is my quick little, um, tip on popping popping your page if you haven't had a chance to check out my pop crops you know just go on my website at craftsomejoy.com and there's a tab that can take you over so if you want to check it out and um we i just i think we had a good time we were able to just hang out answer some questions our next crop i am planning on doing some more just scrapbooking right in front of you. So, um, you know, you can kind of watch how I'm doing things, putting things together, and then just hang out there with me too. So hopefully um, that'll, that'll be really fun. Okay, so let's see, question Debbie has, what size are your pictures on the long pages, or the long ones? Those were, um, oh, those were ancient, Deb. <laughs> Let's take a look. Those, you know, remember when we had those panoramic cameras? I didn't, I mean, I these are 20-year-old pictures. 
they are, um, let me see. These pictures are, whoops, I'm still not the right. Here we go. <laughs> um, they're about 10 inches long. They're about 10 inches long. So yeah, that's why I only have about two inches left. So these are those old style panoramic from, from long ago. Okay, and any other questions? Let me see. I think I got most of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Julie, you use the green texture for your daughter's lizards and snakes. I know. I remember you got a bunch of that from me, <laughs> that green texture paper. But, you know, those are always fun to have in your stash, right? So, um, yep, yep, yep. Okay, any other questions before we go? I know we have been overwhelmed with goodness from the new products. I think this is one of the best launches in, in kind of a long time. I think it's been been such such a, a great experience to see it up close. I'm so excited. And uh, Sandy, yeah, you had one of those panoramic cameras. Yeah, we're, we're going way back, way back in time. Okay, so thank you, Jenny. <laughs> I love the thumbs up. Thank you, guys. And um, let's see, put the project recipes. Yes, Mary. Oh, I wanted to mention that. So anybody who's connected to me, I will go in tonight and I will add all the project recipes that I'm missing. So every collection, there's a project recipe. I always put that in my Facebook group in the files section so you can download those project recipes and then print them and follow them. So I will make sure to do that um, after we get off tonight. And uh, so you'll have access to those. If you're, if you're not connected with me, ask your advisor, or if you are an advisor, just go into the back office and find your project recipe templates. So um, they're, they're free. It's just that you need to be in a place that you can download that file. If that makes sense. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh my gosh, Julie, the mystery box. Yeah. Oh, Diane forgot to talk. I forgot. I think I forgot to put that in my post. The mystery box Monday. I forgot to put that in my post. I'll have to do another post. Maybe I'll put that up on Sunday. And um, it's Monday. Catherine, it's Monday. We get to do our mystery box. <laughs> so much fun. Our I'm mystery. Not sure I understand. Oh, Siri. Oh, again, Siri. <laughs> the mystery box will be available with Wanderlust, with the Snowflake Punch. Uh, with one, um, with the Italy and Mexico and so much good stuff, right? And we get to the border maker cartridge is available. We have to wait on the hexagon punch, but we're going to have all good stuff, right? So once again, in case you missed my post, in order to get the Black Friday punches, some of you have been so excited to get those. And it's really simple. If you order... Um, between February, uh, January 31st, starting Monday, to, uh, I believe it's February 6th. If you order anywhere in between, the details are on my Facebook page. Um, yeah, we've, <laughs> Siri, I've got to help Siri learn how to scrapbook. She needs to learn, right? Thanks. <laughs> um, so if you order in that little time period, What's going to happen is create, you're not going to see it in your cart. Creative Memories knows that you ordered those promo bundles. If you ordered one, two, or three, or multiples. And they're going to add those punches to your order. Automatically, if you order between the 31st and I believe it's the 6th. If you haven't ordered, starting on the 7th, they will ship those out. So you don't have to order. Okay, but who wouldn't want to order any of that good stuff? And if you do order that, you're going to get it that much sooner. Right? So um, they'll just automatically be put in your order. You don't have to do anything, which is amazing. Creative Memories came up with this strategy. I love it. It's going to save them 
uh, just so much in shipping costs because they can just add that to your box already. And that gives them the opportunity to make new products for us. So it's all good, right? Rather than spend all the money on extra boxes and shipping. So um, if you are thinking about getting something, try to get it within that window and then you'll get your Black Friday promo punches popped in there too. Okay, so <laughs> Catherine, I'm gonna have empty pockets on Tuesday also because <laughs> there's so much. I know, so much, right? And John Nat, I'm so excited to see you um, joining me. And um, yeah, so there we go. Yay! Any other questions? Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for joining. And I know I'm just a little, my voice is really high because I'm really excited about this new stuff. So um, just keep an eye out because you know I'll be coming back in to use it with you. Show you fun stuff just like we did today. Aren't these fun? I love them. Aren't they cute? I love these borders. And look at it with the cameras. So much fun. So um, tell me what you're doing. If, if you're watching this on replay, if you miss the live and you make this border, put it in the comments what collection you used and what punch, because I'm, I'm just curious if you like it, if you like the formula, super easy to do. And also, don't forget, if you haven't joined my Craft Some Joy community, hit the little thumbs up so you get notified and uh, ring the bell, that's the notifications, and you can subscribe. And then you'll know whenever we come on live and you can join us. So uh, until next time, everyone, you know what I'm gonna say. I hope you take time to craft some joy and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.